Hey Polynauts, today is August 20th, 2013. I'm Sumit Sarkar. Let's get started on Speedrun. Sony held its Gamescom press conference today, and boy, did they have a lot to say. The PlayStation 4 will launch November 15th in North America and November 29th in Europe, and it will be available in 32 countries by the end of the year. According to Andrew House, CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment, pre-orders for the PS4 have surpassed 1 million. And the PlayStation Vita received a price drop. Effective immediately, the handheld will cost $199 instead of $249. That applies to both the Wi-Fi and 3G models. And Sony will introduce price cuts of 20 to 33% for Vita memory cards. Sony also has a ton of games coming to its next-gen system. Titles such as Cellar Door Games' Rogue Legacy, Vlambeer's Wasteland Kings, Mojang's Minecraft, and a modern update to side-scrolling classic Shadow of the Beast will all be available on PS4. And that's only a handful of PS4 games and Vita games we can expect. Check out our story stream for all the games, 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 and news from the Sony press conference. Not to be left out, Microsoft also had a few announcements of its own. The company finally detailed the initial phase of its independent developers at Xbox program. This includes developers applying for dev kits and registration. Microsoft also announced the launch lineup for Xbox One. 23 games are currently targeted for the console's still unspecified launch date. Check back later this week for our hands-on impressions of the Xbox One's lineup. You know that game 2K just released, the Bureau X Comedy Classified? Well, there's a crazy story about how it got where it is today. Chris Plant takes us deep inside the game's troubled past, which reaches back as far as 2006. Over seven years, the Bureau saw at least three titles, three genres, three studios, and several reboots. We spoke with inside sources who shared their experiences and thoughts on the game's long and winding journey. It's a long story, but well worth the read. Whew, that's all for today, Polynauts. Thanks for watching, and be sure to keep up with all our Gamescom coverage in our story streams on the site.